Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Continuing our look at films starring Jack Benny, we next have a movie made right on the heels of our last film, The Big Broadcast of 1937. And as with Big Broadcast, Benny again stars alongside George Burns and Gracie Allen. Well, over the years, Benny, Burns, and Allen appeared in countless TV shows together, but only twice did they share scenes in motion pictures, both of which we're bringing you here on TCM tonight. And next we indeed have one of them, College Holiday directed by Frank Tuttle for Paramount Pictures in 1936. All about a failing hotel, which is only able to keep its doors open by conducting eugenics experiments, with Jack hired to scour the nation's college campuses for perfect physical specimens to participate in the experiment. All this, by the way, before supposedly improving the human race by scientific methods became indelibly linked to the Nazi party as the 1930s rolled on. Within two years, a story like this would never have been put on screen. Mixed up, though, in all the shenanigans here are George and Gracie, with the college students thinking they are participating in a summer music program designed to draw guests to the hotel. It's a very madcap film, full of misunderstandings and some really good musical numbers. One of the young college students recruited by Benny is Martha Ray, the big mouth herself. Martha, 20 years old at this point, and a about to launch on her own unique film career. She plays a girl named Daisy Schlagenheimer, who's been instructed by her mother to punch any guy that tries to kiss her. Here in its TCM premiere, a college musical from the 1930s that refreshingly doesn't end with a big football game, but instead with a minstrel show. Also with the cast includes the delightful Mary Bolin, Marcia Hunt, and Life Erickson. From 1936, College Holiday. Thank you. 